All right, so we went over um, buck hop as a tool of measure and expanding the different ways you can add on to that buck hop. Here we're going to get into heel toe as a unit of measure, and this is going to uh, encompass foot control, uh, foot strength, and leg strength and leg stability. So, talking about how strong our feet are, um, how stable we are in the legs, so our ankle joint, our knee joint, our hip joint. Right, how stable, how strong we feel, as well as um, our ability to move in different planes and change these planes or change in this plane. So your heel toe is rotation, boom, boom, and your stability, where is that coming from? How do you feel? Um, a lot of times people sit in this posture where it's on their legs, so their center of gravity is here. Right? When in reality you want your center of gravity to be in the hips. You're actually sitting in your hips, you're not sitting or holding yourself up on your legs. Uh, so that comes from some of the exercises that will be incorporated like uh, foot drills, um, exercises for the glutes, uh, posterior chain. So you're going to feel strong and sit here. So this is why this is a good unit of measure because it's going to cover those things and you'll see those exercises benefit you. So how controlled and stable do you feel going through a heel toe transition? How far can you rotate through that transverse plane? So are you only able to keep it short? So if your crowd control is where that's in here, you feel the crump move here. Can you keep up with that? Or can you rotate all the way around and be stable? Can you bring something back, back here? Right? You feel stable in that, in your hips, in your knees. So again, this is a good drill. We can do five, ten times. Boom. Boom. So how stable do you feel? Right side. Some people might notice they feel stronger. Uh, so finish that thought. Some people might feel that they're stronger on one side than the other. And again, these combinations might be new to you. So along with the neuromuscular adaptations and just feeling like better at moving and doing these combinations, um, pay attention to how strong you feel, right? So again, take the time, might be trying to put these together. You might not include these in your crump, but also pay attention to, you know, just how strong you feel. Um, getting into the heel toe, changing our dimensions through rotation but also changing our levels right so here is our you know this is our buck he's a little stiff there so this is our our buck here staying low how strong and comfortable do you feel here how stable do you feel in your hip is this hard for you to get to right if this, if this feels uncomfortable you can never put your crump in here you can never be in this dimension so when we touch on mobility flexibility this is going to be improved here um, how strong do you feel with holding your body up your torso up with your legs so is this hard for you just holding this position here so playing around with this staying low keeping low you can do your heel toe again five to ten times each way it's a little bit harder on the surface but boom. Slowly going up. So it's a lot easier to maintain that as you go up, harder to maintain as you go down. Boom, rotating. Uh, so we're past, uh, we're past parallel here, rotating behind us in this original plane. So are you able to do that low? Boom, boom. Are we able to keep that heel toe action happening and feel stable with your arms up? So, boom, boom. So didn't want to do that there. But again, these are things that you can improve on. Boom, boom, stay here move into that so again the heel toe is a good unit of measure uh, we did
the heel toe, heel toe going up and down. Um, that drill was a combination of posture, right? So with our torso, do you feel comfortable with boom being here? Do you feel comfortable talking crump here? So do you feel comfortable with talking your crump here? Boom. Can you drag out here? Right? So that's being able to adjust your angle of your torso. That's going to be endurance. That's going to be core control. That's going to be stability in your arms. So changing into different balance points out of a heel toe. Again, moving in different dimensions throughout a session or a battle. So, boom, boom. Again, another unit of measure. Do you feel comfortable? Boom, transitioning right left and right. Boom, going forward from that, right? So, how confident do you feel? How comfortable do you feel? as you're going through those. Um, and lastly, heel toe into drags, right? So your center of gravity is moving, your power, your energy is moving. So do you feel stable through that? Boom. Do you feel strong through that? Boom. So that's stability. You're able to hold that on one leg, so that strength and balance. Again, that's our ability to play with music. If we can only do boom, boom, this, we can miss a lot of different ways you can play around with beats. So, boom, boom. All right. So, that is it for the heel move assessment, heel toe movement.